verses from St Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 4, beginning to read at verse 5. For what we proclaim is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, with ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. For God, who said, let light shine out of darkness, has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Open to us, Lord, your great door, O fountain of all mercy. Hear our prayer and have mercy on our souls. Lord of the morning and ruler of all seasons, hear our prayer and have mercy on our souls. Shine upon me, Lord, and I shall be light like the day. I will sing your praise in light while I marvel. May the morning awaken me to the praise of your Godhead, and I will pursue the study of your word all the day long. With the day may your light shine on our thoughts, and may it drive away the shadows of error from our souls. The creation is full of light, Give light also to our hearts, that they may praise you with the day and the night. Amen. Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son was revealed to destroy the works of the devil and to make us the children of God and heirs of eternal life, grant that we, having this hope, may purify ourselves even as he is pure, that when he shall appear in power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom. Grant this for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O God, our Father, you lead us on ways both new and unknown. Teach your Church in our Diocese of St David's to live the good news given to us in Jesus Christ, Lord and Saviour. Make us to be light in your world and equip us to be partners in your mission so that others will find their way to you. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen.